So we've had marches against Iraq, we've had marches for Copenhagen for climate change, and now we're having a march for student fees. But this time it seems different. This time there's enough people there consistently out to hear our voice. It seems that our government doesn't want to listen to us anymore, so we give them no choice but to hear our very loud shouts. There is no doubt a debate is needed about the student fees, but there hasn't been a debate. They're trying to make a decision without the will of the people behind them. Let's see if we can make a difference today. We're talking about Pinocchio Clegg. We're talking about Vince Cable, the man who our movement has reduced to a gibbering wreck. He doesn't know whether to vote for his bill or vote against it or abstain or stay in bed and pull a duvet over his head. atmosphere with the march coming down. Um, I greeted everyone in Trafalgar Square as they came down from LSE and from Yulu this morning and there was a lot of music and singing and chanting and a brilliant uh, variety of handmade artistic banners uh, with some quite comical uh, slogans. What's kicking up here now is totally unnecessary. Yeah, the horses is ridiculous. Why have they brought horses down here? I really don't know. They split up the crowds. There's no need to have them here now. There's no signs of violence. And I must say, I've never seen horses sent charging across pavements before. And that really is rather scary. And not fair on the animals either. Say, what do you think the real core of what's happening here today? Yeah, there's a lot of anger both sides in there, Chris, but uh, it's all connected. At the end of the day, it's all connected. The oil's running out, um, people are running scared. We don't want to change. Um, a lot of us don't want to change. Few, mindless, few minority. It looks a lot more dramatic than it is. Well, those horses were very twitchy. Well, they were until that fireworks off, funny enough. Yeah, that's kind of what horses do with fireworks. Your name is Smith, which I don't believe, but please, would you have a few words? Well, it's been quite a powerful day so far. Been thousands, tens of thousands of students out. It's got quite nasty now. The police brought their horses, which is probably not the best idea. But this is a this is a protest about the way our politicians are running the world. It's about what our fear of the future is. It's not just about student fees. I think Nick Clegg, though, is a great example of a politician who lies. And uh, in the backdrop of this is WikiLeaks. We're seeing all this information about what the politicians are really doing. They don't have the best interests of the people at heart. They are running a scam. It's a game, it's politics, it's got nothing to do with what the people out here need and that's why we're protesting today. That's, uh, that's rather a colourful bandana, don't you think they might recognise you just from the fact that it stands out a bit? keep me warm. Oh, it's to keep you warm, so it's not to disguise you, so it wouldn't be very good. <laughs> I wouldn't do anything I need disguising for. It's all Nick Clegg's fault.